This is a unboxing of a Mead telescope, Mead ETX 7080 digital telescope in, with uh, auto star computer controller. And uh, this is a Dolux model ETX, includes Mead star navigator software, which is $79 in value. It has a tripod, but I'd, I have no tripod in at this moment. I have it in a special bag from Mead that is there. I have to bring it yet. Uh, let me open and see how it is. Oh, just before continuing, uh, ETX, uh, um, mostly we know it as Maxit of Cassegrain, but this one is a refractor, so always a cleaning tissue for cleaning. Oh, nice, look, there's a locking mechanism for the uh, top part of the packaging. So, let's see what is inside. Oh, impressive, look, foam, special foam for this. Beautifully packaged. Look at it, the telescope uh, itself with a proper uh, dust cap. The base, uh, you can see the eyepiece, and here we have the hand control. Lovely computer control. Hmm, impressive. And what we have here is the eyepiece, and what we have here is a barlow. They call it telenegative, three times barlow. So, let's see how it looks when we take it out. The color of it, I must say that this color here is blue. This color here is black, but kind of very dark bluish in this light that I have. It looks, let me just turn the, oh yeah, that's, that's a very dark blue. And this is a little bit lighter blue. And as you can see, oh yeah. Everything here. There's an eyepiece uh, uh, port here and also a camera port and also eyepiece port if you want to use it as a spotoscope. Let's open it and see how it is. Okay, this is the telescope itself. And uh, let's open the dust cap and see how it looks. Okay, you, you twist the dust cap and it opens. And as you can see, the optics is a optics of a Refractor you have a lens in front that is a lens with 350 millimeters uh, focal length diameter of 70 millimeter and f5 of the whole system f of the whole system is 5 So it's quite a wide angle fast telescope is a mid ETX 70 of course and multi-coated optics And as you can see this is the way it looks inside uh, Several baffles and everything uh, ready for a good observation. The eyepiece of it, which is in this, uh, the eyepiece of it you can see here, it's quite a beautiful bronze color has become anodized. Uh, coating has been gradually removed and it makes it in this beautiful color. And the same here with the, oh, looks so nicely fits. Oh, it makes it really beautiful. Okay, and this is a 26, uh, 25 millimeter, mid 25 millimeter eyepiece. It's uh, relatively uh, wide angle. I have to clean it, of course. And uh, let's look and see how it will be if we put the controller here. I don't think it has a battery. Let me just check to see if the base, which is here, has any battery or not. Okay, that's the front cover for the battery. Oh yeah, it has a fresh battery here. So I suppose if I turn it on, this will work. So let me turn it on. Does it work? Um, let me put this... Um, I'm not sure, probably the battery is old. But I can see the light is on. Oh yeah, that light is on. So... Or probably the battery is too weak, I don't know. You have to see. Um, 
can connect it. Okay. I can connect it to the 12 volt. This takes 12 volt battery. Okay, the light turns on. But at the moment I don't see any anything on this. Oh yeah, it came back. It came to life. As you can see. Motor unit fault. Okay. So the motor of this telescope has a fault. Hmm, interesting. But it is common. I bought it second hand. Uh, I will tell you ridiculous price. <laughs> bought it for uh, twenty-two pound. And for that money, you get a telescope practically, which is uh, you can use it as altos. But the hand controller works, but the motor unit doesn't work. So computer control of the motor unit is failed. Let me see. Yes. Okay, I bought this telescope for general use. It's a grab and go telescope, easy to use, easy to carry. And I mean, just use it as without the motor or anything because I, practically I know my way around the sky. And uh, um, we will see how I will use it. Um, it depends how I feel about this, how um, it, it, uh, I can interact with this telescope. Uh, so far, so good. It's a it's F5 refractor, and that's that's all that's all.